We have made some insane signings so far in our journey of taking Man United back to the top. And the team is showing a lot of promise, but also a lot of inconsistency. We're not exactly where we want to be yet, but we enter the January transfer window in this episode. If we want to continue this Man United transformation, players need to be signed and also players need to be sold. So drop a like if you want to see more of this series and let's get back into it. All right, so we're at home chilling in our apartment. I should say our newly renovated apartment is as you can see, this place looks a little bit different. Okay, the whole place looks new. We hired a professional clean this place up and it's looking amazing now we also have a new clean work area and that's a good thing because we have been busy planning for our next game the manchester derby but before that we have a meeting with ten hog and he says the january window is approaching let's go over our transfer plan for january he says we're planning to do a good amount of business in january we're gonna look to sell at least four to five players and also look to sign four players he says we need a goalkeeper a center mid a cdm and a striker and he wants to focus on younger players so he wants all of us to bring him targets by january 1st and then we'll get to work and when that time comes we have some pretty good players in mind but okay first comment you should give Jaden sancho garnacho more playing time yeah so sancho garnacho both have played nine and eight games respectively i am trying to play them more but it's honestly kind of hard this prem season is so competitive that i feel like i have to play my best team most of the time but i'll try to fit them in more next one mold mason mount to a center mid to take over ericsson's role yeah a few guys uh, said to do this i feel like ericsson mason mount i mean they're similar players a little bit and bruno fernandez is so much better at cam than like a number eight center mid so we might actually try and do that and that means basically moving mount to a center mid and also working on his defending so that he could be a box to box i think he has potential too we'll try it more and last one next season you should use the main united 23 24 season jerseys yeah so that's the plan next season we're gonna have new kits of course we're gonna have new kits every season and i'm not sure if united have released their new kits for next year if they have we'll definitely use those for next season in season two so our next game is our first ever manchester derby in this series and they are flying right now in first 14 wins one draw and one loss so as usual they're the team to beat in the premier league right now and we might try something different for this game so neymar is currently our top scorer 15 goals in 24 games Rash Rashford has six and 20 games. Now that made me think, what if we play Neymar at striker and then Rashford down the wing? Because I mean, Rashford is faster, so it does make sense. I feel like Rashford hasn't been bad at striker, but he might be better on the left wing. So we're going to try that in this game against Man City. We're going to debut it. Something Pep Guardiola is probably not expecting. So we're going to try that. Speaking of Pep, during his press conference, he says that he's seen the improvements we've made this season, that we're not the same Man United from last year. And he says we can't be underestimated. And then in Eric Ten Hag's press conference, he says last time we faced Man City was in the FA Cup final, which we lost. And a lot of the boys have been thinking about that loss for a while so hopefully some of that energy can translate into a good performance today so there's a man city lineup surprisingly no erling holland turns out he's injured he has a sprained ankle he's out for three weeks so we're a little bit lucky there first game trying neymar at striker and we still can't underestimate this man city team all right our very first manchester derby of this series now i feel like this might be pretty rough even without erling holland because man city are just man city but neymar at striker now if this actually works then it might change our strategy a little bit in terms of sending a striker so this game might be very big also in terms of that okay what a tackle on Ericsson. Man City, you guys calm down. Oh, no. Okay, De Bruyne, please stop. Okay, tell me he's offside. Wait, that's how they start? What is this, the FA Cup final? They've scored as quick as they did in the FA Cup final. We have just been, like, blitzed. Oh, man. I can't believe how fast that was. We're already 1-0 down. I don't want it to be this realistic. Okay, 1-0 down in three minutes to Man City. That literally felt, like, unavoidable. Rashford, can you get Neymar? Good one, Neymar, Neymar. It's got Anthony, maybe. Okay, goes out to Dallow instead. Dallo into Neymar Jr. That could have been an immediate response. All right, Bruno Fernandez corner. That looks pretty good. Varane's there. Oh, Ederson. How does he save that? And how do we not score that? That was basically like an open free header. All right, Bruno, let's try this again. Varane, this time. Okay, that wasn't a free header this time. Anthony is going to stop. Tries to control the ball and uh, doesn't really control the ball. He does steal it, though. And Anthony into Bruno. Bruno tries to lay off someone. And he's got, that's a great tackle by someone. This game has started already very intense. This is very dangerous. Gundogan shot and De Gea makes a decent save. It's going to be a corner again though. And Gundogan, he just loves playing against uh, United, I guess. Oh, that's a bad tackle by Nathan Ake. That's going to be a yellow. I think it should be. Indeed, it's a yellow for Nathan Ake. Martinez and Erickson. Erickson into Neymar. Neymar turn into Bruno Fernandez and this game is 1-1. Okay, there's a response. That was actually pretty simple the way we worked through their defense. Neymar playing like a false nine roll, like picking the ball up a little bit deep. I mean, that could also work too. All right, Bruno Fernandez. And this game is 1-1. Uh, Anthony to Dallow, Dallow. Great turn. Dallow's got Bruno again. Okay, Bruno, that first touch. That Why was the pass from Dallow so powerful? That just ruined that chance. Alvarez into Alvarez. Alvarez, Varane. Man, that is good defending right there. Neymar lays it off to Erickson. Erickson's got... Rashford is kind of running free. Now, Neymar might be free. Neymar, Rashford. That pass was terrible. The shot wasn't that bad. I think he handballed it, though. Yeah, Neymar gave the ball a high five. Man, we are finding space, though, right now. Rashford 
into Bruno Fernandez, and it's 2-0, or it's actually 2-1. Okay, their defense feels so wide open. Rashford driving through, picks out Bruno again. Bruno's finding space. Look how simple this was. They're just not, they're not tracking Bruno at all. He is exploiting the space, and this is actually 2-1. This game is flipped very oddly, but I doubt that's gonna be the last goal of this game. Grealish, Grealish, don't go down for a penalty. Please don't fall over, thank you. Okay, Dallow, good tackle. Now, Erickson has a yellow. I am not sure why Erickson has a yellow. I don't remember getting a yellow with Erickson, but I guess he does Erickson. Okay, that was almost handball, but we're just gonna clear it. Oh, Erickson almost went down for another yellow. Oh, Martinez, please, please clear it. Oh man, Martinez got like a little mini touch on that. Probably saved a goal. Oh no, Alvarez. Okay, I, I dared him to shoot that and he shot that. Thankfully he did. Now we got one final chance maybe. Oh, Neymar can't get it to Rashford. Okay, 2-1. It oddly doesn't feel like we're up here, but somehow we are. Yeah, the Erickson on that yellow, I gotta bring on Mount for him at some point because I cannot risk getting a red card against Man City. We will get destroyed if that happens. Dallow. Oh, Grealish, she just dove. That's not a foul. Free kick sent in. Why is the, why are the crowd going crazy? I have no idea. There's no foul there. Now, Casemiro has a Anthony, and this is so wide open. Neymar, chance to shoot, and it's 3-1 of Manchester United. This game feels so weird. It does not feel like we're the better team or playing better. But we are two goals up. We are shocking the league leaders here. Neymar, it's a great finish on his left foot. 49th minute. This game feels extremely weird. But you know what? Scoreline, not mad. Bruno gives it to Anthony. Man, their defense is the problem, I think. They're just wide open. Neymar gives it to Anthony. Anthony's going to try to find Neymar again. He does. Neymar for four. Oh, Ederson makes the save. That should have been 4-1. That's a great corner. Rashford was there for it. Goes to Anthony. Anthony, left footed finish shot. Anthony, that was so far wide. All right, I'm not risking the red card. Eric Tanag's bringing on Mason Mount for Christian Eriksen. Wait, wait. Uh, Erling Holland is on the field. I thought he was injured. Somehow he's playing and De Bruyne scores. Why, where was that space? Why was there space? And why is Holland playing? I thought he, I thought he had a sprained ankle. Okay, this game is 3-2. Holland plays it in the middle, Gundogan. I mean, that's just a great move. It's bad defense, but it's a great move. Okay, this game is 3-2. We gotta keep playing our game, because now this game has gotten serious. Neymar through to Bruno. Bruno is gonna try to find Neymar. Oh, Bruno, what a ball to Neymar. He went for the chip, and it goes over the net. Oh, Neymar, that was the right decision, but just not executed well. All right, Shaw is gonna try to play up to Rashford. I think he might be offside, though. And it feels like this game has shifted momentum, like, I don't know how many times, like maybe three. Mason Mount's got space to work with, though. Mason is running forward now. He has got a lot of space. That was a great shot from Mason Mount. All right, Sancho on for Anthony. I'm on a corner here, a corner goal. Would be beautiful, Varane, that's yours. Oh, Varane, it was yours. Oh, who was that, Martinez? Oh, went just wide. It was actually uh, deflected, I guess. Bruno cross in, come on, Varane again. Varane gets to it, but it goes over the net. Grealish gets it to Holland. Holland's gonna try to play it down to Rodri, I think he was. Oh man, he plays it back. I don't like this. I don't like any part of this, good block. That goes back to De Gea, and we survive. Casemiro, great dribbling now. Bruno's got Sancho, I think. Bruno, up to Jaden. Sancho, Jaden. Oh, first touch, not the best. Plays up to Neymar. Ruben Diaz is going to clear it. Man, that was not a good chance. Casemiro gets it back to Sancho, though. Oh, Grealish steals from Sancho. What a play by Grealish. Oh, my. That pass was amazing. Casemiro win that. Casemiro, great win. Bruno, through Neymar. Neymar doesn't have the stamina or pace to win that, but Rashford might. Rashford, can he win that? Rashford, what a ball by Neymar. Oh, Rashford. That was the sloppiest touch I've ever seen. We could have had like an easy shot at goal there. Oh man, we got like what? Six minutes and this is this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Holland defending needs to be so good here. Martinez could tackle. Someone mark Holland, please. Why is everyone backing off Holland? This is not good. This right here is not good. Kyle Walker on Mount. Mason Mount makes the tackle. Beautifully done. Okay, just clear it. All right, Miguel Ramirez is on for Neymar, and then Garnacho is on for Rashford. We need fresh legs up top. We try and hold the ball or something. If we do get a chance to hold the ball, because Man City, all this possession, down low, or actually Shaw, great tackle. We just need to survive this onslaught. Please, Shaw again. Great tackle, Shaw. Plays it forward. Miguel Ramirez is going to pick it up. Ramirez gets it to Garnacho. Alejandro Garnacho will try to seal this game for us in front of Ederson. Okay, we should have held it. Mistakes were made. Wait, Garnacho seals it back. Okay, wait, boys, boys, relax. Everyone relax. We may have just beat Manchester City at the Etihad. Casemiro is driving forward. He's going to steal it, but ref, please. Ref blows the whistle. What a win. We had to fight so hard for that. It was very shaky at times. We just beat Man City. Man, Aaron Ten Hag gets the better at Pep Guardiola this time. I mean, United have had some shock wins at the Etihad, so this is just one of those. What a weird game. We get all three points, though. All right, so we are now in the January transfer window. That win against Man City propelled us to a very good end to December. And we now sit third in the Prem, six points behind both Man City and Liverpool, who still remain the teams to beat this year in the Prem. And we got 
had 59 million pounds to spend and we're still gonna try to sell some players too so like we planned january 2nd we head to eric tanag's office and we tell tanag that we have two players we think he should look at and he says okay tell me who they are the first player is gonna be one of the world's biggest midfield prospects arthur vermeeren playing for antwerp now he's only 17 years old but the belgian midfielder is considered one of the biggest midfield prospects and with casemiro getting a little older he could be the future starting cdm of this team and then the next player is gonna be the striker from atlanta rasmus hoyland now 19 years old from denmark 6-2 he's one of the biggest striker prospects in the world too and tanag says okay this is what we'll do we're gonna travel and go watch these two players play and see if they pass the eye test so we went back home we packed our bags in the car we're going on a little business trip with eric ten Hag. so we drive to the airport and we take off for our first destination that's gonna be belgium as we're going to a royal antwerp game to watch arthur vermeeren play and i mean while he's not the tallest cdm ever he's definitely a force to be reckoned with in midfield i kind of see a little bit of angolo kante in his game and only 17 years old his potential is through the roof he could be casemiro's future replacement and we talked to him after the game and he says it'd be a dream come true to play for a team like manchester united now next up we're at an atalanta game in syria and of course we're watching hoyland play now some have called him erling holland 2.0 and that's a pretty crazy comparison but i mean he's tall he's quick you can kind of see why he's gonna need a lot of development still but you could see hoyland becoming an absolute force at that striker position and after the game he also says that if we can get the deal done he'd be happy to join us in january so the next day we arrive back at the airport we're back home and tenog says both want to join us so let's see if we can get these deals done so first up is gonna be vermeeren now he is only 71 overall but i mean potential is through the roof so if we could develop him it might be worth it 14 million they accept that 14 million for vermeeren that is a done deal right there and just like that vermeeren has been signed up the biggest cdm prospect in the world is now a manchester united player now let's try and go for hoyland this might be a little bit more expensive because i mean he's the arguably the bigger prospect he's higher rated so let's try 32.5 see what atalanta say to that it's not a terrible offer and they're just gonna accept that okay 32 million that's a respectable amount i think uh, we've also signed up hoyland now now so another wonder kid brought into manchester united have we just signed erling holland 2.0 we're gonna find out rasmus hoyland welcome to manchester united now this does mean players need to leave the club and uh quite a few of them so we're gonna try and sell donny van Beek, henderson mctominay brandon williams fred and also anthony martial for the right price we're gonna try to sell all these players to uh of course get our budget back up because we want to take this team back at the top of those players they're just not really good enough where we want to take this team now first game of january is the uh carabao cup semis actually we made it to the semis we're facing southampton so this is a perfect chance for hoyland and vermeer to get their debuts so we got hoyland garnacho sancho ramirez rabio vermeeren okay hold up vermeeren can't be captain we can't do that he's 17 years old uh we're gonna make let's do a de gea captain let's do that uh rabio malasia kim min jay lindelof and wanby saka so we get a very young attacking force in this game i mean hey there's also the care pickup semis like we don't want to get knocked out here first leg even with our younger players we should still do good in this game so the biggest cdm prospect and maybe striker prospect both get their debuts for united alongside the next ronaldo garnacho this game might be interesting Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's not a penalty. One B soccer got all ball there. You gotta be kidding me. Just because how the end player does like a triple dive. Bro, we got all ball there. We got all ball. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, first tag of the game, first chance goes Southampton. David Haya. Penalty. Oh, what a save from David De Gea. It's almost like it never happened. That's a long shot. De Gea will grab that one. All right, boys, can we get an attack going? I want to see the next Ronaldo. Miguel Ramirez, Garnacho, and Hoyland. Maybe the future of this main United team. Rabio gives it to Hoyland. Hoyland. Gets it back to Rabiot. Okay, maybe not. Not the greatest first touch for Hoyland. Am I saying his name right? I hope I am. Oh my, James Ward-Prowse is gonna score. Okay, Lindelof did nothing there. Ball is played in Ward-Prowse and Lindelof just stands there. Like, no one's marking Ward-Prowse. Literally, he's just right. He's behind actually Lindelof. He's not even looking at him. Okay, 14 minutes in. What a terrible start for us. Penalty and then we actually concede. All right, Vermeeren gets it out to Wamisaka. Now, Sancho, this should be a game where you should dominate in really. Into Rabiot though, Rabio. Rabio. Oh, Hoyland, so much space there for a shot. All right, Hoyland, great touch. Great touch. Goes for a shot. Okay, Hoyland, that wasn't bad right there. Definitely look threatening. We need to tie this up. Garnacho, decent touch. Vermeeren's got a little bit of space. Not going to shoot this though. Plays it into Hoyland. Gets it to Rabio. Over to Garnacho. Garnacho into Hoyland. Oh man, that was almost worked beautifully. One Bisaka into Miguel Ramirez. Ramirez tries to play it too. Jaden Sancho. He does, and Sancho ties the game up. All right, Miguel Ramirez, another assist for him. And rightfully so, we are now tied up. We should really win this game, to be honest. At home, we should not be drawing or losing the first leg of this uh, semifinal. Rabio to Garnacho. Garnacho's got Hoyland. Hoyland plays it back to Sancho. Man, he was almost fouled there. Sancho, good ball to Miguel Ramirez. Miguel Ramirez, chance to score. Oh, that shot was kind of crazy. All right, corner in by Jaden Sancho. That looks decent. It's going to be someone. I don't even know who that was. Rebound. 
Balls to Ward Prowse, and he's gonna clear it. Okay, we're starting in this game, though. We're starting to, as I say that, we play a horrible pass, of course. Okay, Ramirez, and great ball to Ramirez. Now, Ramirez, Hoyland, 6 2. He's actually a crossing target. Okay. That was, okay, I was gonna say that was handball, right? Like, ref, are you gonna call it? Okay, what do we do here? Do we shoot this? Do we cross it in? I'm gonna call for someone else, and we're gonna try to work this this way. Ramirez, Ramirez. Okay, get it back to Sancho. Sancho, get it to Malasia. Now, Malasia. Good cross in, Sancho. It's supposed to go to Hoyland. He's not there for it, though. That's a good header, though. Sancho, Garnacho was actually taken out. You're telling me that wasn't a foul. That was clean. Oh, this ref today is horrible. Okay, 1-1. One, one. They might have scored first, but since then, we've looked like the better team. Let's uh, continue doing that. Okay, don't give up another penalty. I feel like for some reason, these Southampton players are looking to try and win a penalty. Rabio, good defending. Garnacho into Hoyland. Hoyland? Okay, there's the... There's maybe Erling Holland 2.0. There he is. Okay, that was very good from our new striker. Hoyland scores his first goal for Manchester United. He might be the world's best prospect. I don't know. World's best wonder kid. Him or Vermeeren could both be that. Man, left foot. That's a good strike. All right, 2-1, 50th minute. Oh, man, Rabio. That is a very good tackle. Hoyland, that is great dribbling. Hoyland to Garnacho. Hoyland's it again. Is Hoyland coming to life? Hoyland, oh, that first touch. I jinxed it by saying that. That was a horrible touch. Vermeeren wins a header, though. Into Garnacho, Garnacho. The shot is horrendous. The youngsters are showing some energy at least. Oh, Garnacho is taking on some players right now, and he is dribbling a few into Hoyland. Hoyland, first touch is very good. Okay, Rasmus Hoyland might be the next big thing. He's got a brace, and Garnacho and him are combining so well. Maybe the future of this team. And Garnacho dribbled like past three guys in the midfield into Hoyland, and then it's pretty much the same spot, but it's a it's a good finish. Maybe that's his spot. Come on, three one. I like the score line. Let's make this even more comfortable. We're second leg. It won't even matter. Aiden Sancho out to Garnacho. Now Hoyland. Hoyland's on a hat trick. We're going to go over to Ramirez. Ramirez heads it into... Oh, no. That was almost perfect. The header just wasn't at Hoyland. Oh, we got an injury. Who is it? It is going to be... Is that Rabio? Oh, Rabio is hurt. Okay, that is not good. 3-1. Man, hopefully that's not bad. That is not good, though. We're going to bring on... Let's do Mount for Rabio. Oh, let's do Mengi for Lindelof. Man, that's not a good injury. The fact that he was taken off and he can walk, it's probably not good. All right, Mason Mount just brought on into... Okay, Sancho. Why are you running so fast there? Just stop and Mason can play you in. Okay, you got to be kidding me. He's onside. Wait. How is he onside? De Gea, I need you. De Gea. De Gea. Oh, I brought him out. I think maybe too early. I don't know. Man, 3-2. How do we let him in like that? I don't even know how he's onside. It must have been just timed perfectly. Okay, this is 3-2. That does not make me happy. Okay, they are looking to do something here. Mengi. That is a great defensive play, though. We get two minutes. We just can't let them tied up. 3-2. It's bad, but you know what? It's better than 3-3. We at least have to take a lead back to Southampton to St. Mary's. Sancho, Baldo Ramirez. Ramirez has Hoyland for his hat trick. Hoyland, a chance to make it. Four, two, okay, Rasmus Hoyland on his debut scores a hat-trick for Manchester United. World's best wonder kid, he might have just taken that title. Oh man, what a signing he could be. I like 4-2 so much better. Ramirez, again, by the way, another assist. I mean, it's a great finish. Man, Hoyland looks really good. 4-2, that's full time. What a debut for Hoyland. Now, Vermeeren had a good debut, not a great one, but Hoyland definitely stole the show today. Look at that, Hoyland hat-trick hero against Southampton. That was an insane debut. Now, fortunately, Rabio is only out for two weeks with a damaged elbow. So that injury is not actually that bad, that's good. Okay, we've sold a few players here. We've sold Scott McTominay over to Tottenham Hotspur and also sold Martial to Lazio. Now, Martial was 21.6 and McTominay was 13.8. And we also sold Brendan Williams to Valladolid for 8.3. I mean, with Vermeer and Hoyland, it made sense that that's their replacement. So those players just had to leave. So now we have 54 million to spend. And Eric Ten Hag has one more player on his list. That is Quinton Timber. So the brother of Urian Timber. Now we need basically like one more midfielder for the reserves. And he's Dutch. He's got the connection to Eric Ten Hag. So for 12 million, I feel like that makes a lot of sense. He can play at center mid cdm cam he's a pretty versatile player and he's also now a manchester united player so timber welcome to the club so we did end up beating southampton in that second leg so we're facing arsenal in the carabao cup final and we're also edging closer and closer to man city liverpool in first and second next game is a big one against chelsea we can't stop this momentum we got to keep it going now rabio is not fully back yet so timber is on the bench for this game we'll see if he gets his debut but we go with our strongest 11 i still can't believe how competitive the top of the table is this year in the prem like man city liverpool they're on fire and we're hanging on there in third so this title race this top four race is so close we just can't afford to drop points especially against a team that's competing with us for top four that's an early yellow for sterling now Neymar and striker worked against man city so far it has been working we'll see if it works also in this game i just feel like rashford might be actually better at left wing and Neymar might be better at striker okay felix is in felix please stop Varane. did enough there to at least stop that attack or slow it down i should say 
That isn't a matter of way, De Gea saves at the near post. Okay, that was very dangerous. That is a good cross in, and Rashford gets it out. Gallo, great ball to Neymar. Neymar, got Anthony. Anthony gets it back to Neymar. The Brazilian combo. Neymar shoots, and it's going to be 1 0 to Manchester United. Yeah, Neymar as striker might be the way to go. He's such a threat, like either assisting, being a false nine, or being like an actual striker. That was pretty simple, and it's 1 0 in 11 minutes. Okay, matter way, great cross. Gallo, that is an insane clearance, but it's good enough. Bruno, I think, has Neymar. Yes, he does. Neymar is in. Neymar versus Thiago Silva. Neymar cuts inside. Beautifully done. Okay, Neymar is on fire. Neymar just turned his Brazilian teammate, Thiago Silva. I mean, he's got the years on him. He should be able to turn him. Oh, Neymar, that is that is disgusting, actually. And then the finish is beautiful. Man, 2-0, a brace from Neymar. This so far has been a beautiful start. Don't ruin this start. Okay, Xiao Felix almost just scored something incredible. That cross in is incredible also. And then Koulibaly sends it over the net, though. And so far, we have been the better team in this game. Anthony stops. Anthony destroys him. Dallo into Neymar maybe a first half hat trick Neymar holds it up gets it to Bruno Fernandez oh we should have shot to the left I was aiming to the left Luke Shaw that is a great corner but Mendy is gonna come out and catch it okay I think this free kick is uh, way too far out so I'm gonna try to lay it off who's gonna shoot this Bruno you know what Bruno you're shooting this Bruno Fernandez outside the boot it is 3-0 in 28 minutes. What a goal from Bruno Fernandez. Oh, man. Chelsea have just been destroyed today already. This shot, though, is incredible. That is just absolutely amazing. Outside the boot, right over Mendy. Man, 3-0. This game has gone very unexpectedly in a very good way, though. Don't let them score. They're going to have an immediate response, and it's Joe Felix, of course. Okay, 3-1. Just like that. That was very quick. Bruno to Neymar. Neymar's got Rashford. Rashford's not making a run, though. Neymar, that is great dribbling into... Christian Eriksen, and that goes just wide. Okay, they're trying to make this 3-2, which they might. Nope, they're not. Okay, we can't lose control of this game after having such a good start. Bruno's got Neymar again. Neymar is looking for his hat trick. What a good touch by Neymar, and this is 4-1. That is hat trick complete for Neymar Jr. Yeah, him at striker, Rasher left wing. I think it's the way to go from now on. All right, that might stop any Chelsea uh, recovery in this game. Anthony to Bruno. Now, this game might get worse for Chelsea because Anthony is finding space. Anthony... On his left foot, finesse shot, Mendy, good save. Come on, make this 5-1 halftime. Make this 5-1. Bruno, good delivery. Varane's there for that. Mendy, oh, okay, the, the header was right at him. Balls to Erickson. Erickson into Anthony. Anthony, a second chance. Okay, what a finish from Anthony. Bro, we have destroyed Chelsea today. The scoreline is 5-1 at halftime. This game's done. I did not expect this game to go like that, but what a beautiful game from us. Once again, this game's done. And that is how the game ends. Now, Dallo picked up a knock in the 57 minutes, so uh, that's not good. Oh, man, so Dallo has a pulled groin. He's going to be out for five weeks. I mean, it's not it's not the worst injury, but it's still kind of bad. And we are on transfer deadline day here. And maybe one of the last players leaving this window is going to be Donny Van de Beek. So once again, he's not getting any game time. It's, it's time to move on. And he's going back to Everton. Okay, actually, one more. We have Fred leaving to Napoli. Once again, Fred, he's just not playing. Rabio is kind of his replacement. So a lot of players leaving the club this window. A lot of players brought in. This is the transformation of Manchester United happening before our eyes. So that is it for the January transfer window. Look at that. Eric Ten Hag, manager of the month of January. We have been playing pretty good. It's just crazy that Liverpool Man City have been that much better. But we are right there. Now, this Dello injury does hurt. Wambi is going to play for him. Because our next game is the Champions League run of 16. An absolutely huge game. So we finished second in our group. So so round of 16, we actually are facing Juventus. So it's Manchester United versus Juve. It's very funny. But once again, you finish second, you're going to get a tough team. Juventus, despite their struggles, are a very good team still. So first knockout game at Old Trafford in a long time in the Champions League is coming up next. And before this game, David Beckham's giving an interview. He's at Old Trafford for the game tonight. And he says that he feels the club is going in the right direction. Some really good young players brought into the club. Some unhappy players sold. He says as a fan, he likes the direction of the team. And that tonight is a very big game for this club's future. So that is the Juventus team they got. Looks like they got Koke. I mean, it's a good team. It's a very good team. Now, I pretty much got to go with my best lineup. There's no reason to change anything after that win against Chelsea. So, we go with that. Rabio is back. And uh, the Champions League knockout stage officially begins. This is a very big night for the club. Really a true test of where this club's at right now. And I'm a little nervous because, like, I don't want to get knocked out in round 16. That would be terrible. I mean, it could happen. This team is so unpredictable. So, we're going to find out. Champions round 16 first leg is going to be officially kicked off. Let's try and have a solid first leg. Okay, already, man, these teams, every team we face in this episode has started against us so quick okay martinez good tackle we survived that okay already i am sweating neymar great ball okay who's making a run is that luke shaw that was luke shaw it's gonna be dragged back for a foul though all right boys come on we need a good start here we need a solid start casemiro is gonna find christian erickson erickson in to neymar neymar gets it over to 
Marcus Rashford. That was almost a very good start. Luke Shaw, corner in. Chesney does come out for it. Varane's there, and it's going to be 1 0 to United. Okay, Chesney should have come out for that. That cross was very close to him, but Varane scores the first goal of the knockout stage for us. That is a picture perfect start. Luke Shaw, great delivery. Yeah, Chesney, you got to come out for that. He can't stay home on that header or that cross. All right, seven minutes, 1 0 to United. Oh, Christian Eriksen, what a steal. What a pass to Neymar. There is some flair on that one. And Neymar can't make it 2-0. Oh, that was such a good chance. I underestimated Eriks in the series. I thought he was going to be sold pretty soon. But he's been good, Anthony. I'll take that free kick. That's a very good chance for a free kick. I'll take that. We got Neymar. This is a very good chance. Oh, man. 13 minutes in. We have a chance to blow this wide open. Neymar Jr. steps up. I feel like that's a good amount of power. Neymar, free kick. He has done it again. Neymar has actually done it again. I can't believe it. He has scored yet another free kick. It's 2-0. That's like our third free kick with Neymar in this series. Only four episodes. Bro, he's just a free kick specialist, I, I guess, at United. Man, 2-0 in 13 minutes. Juventus are shocked here. What a great start to this game. Neymar, ball out to Bruno. Bruno's got Rashford on his run. Oh, man, Juventus. The prison team are no, Rashford, you got to score that so I can finish my sentence. Now I can't finish it. Oh, we should have made it 3-0. We can't miss a chance like that. Man, they're looking so bad. Casemiro, long ball to Neymar. Neymar heads it down to Christian Eriksen. Almost makes it 3-0. We are creating some very good looking chances. I don't know how they cleared that. It's been like 25 minutes. Feels like they're already on the ropes. Casemiro, great ball to Neymar. Neymar. Flips it through to Rashford. Rashford. Oh, I try to get it back to Neymar. Martinez is a good tackle. Man, we are playing amazing right now. As I say that, we lose the ball. I should stop saying that. It's the Tyster Jinx. Bruno. Erickson to Marcus Rashford. It is 3-0 to Manchester United. These two games, what has gotten into us? We're all of a sudden playing amazing. Like, this attack is just perfect. Erickson to Rashford. It's beautiful. Oh, man, Juventus are actually in the mud. 33 minutes in. Luke Shaw has a chance to cross it in. We're going to cross it in. What a great cross by Luke Shaw. Neymar can't get it. Luke Shaw, another chance. Crosses it in. Bruno. Bruno fights for it. It's in a fall, and they barely survived that. All right, Wambi Saka versus Kesa. Kesa is obviously one of the best players. Into Pogba. That's a shot to hey a good save, I think, on Di Maria. Don't let him score halftime. That is uh, blocked by Varane, and then we get it out. Okay, Vince, that's a very good first half. 3-0? That is an extremely good first half. All right, Anthony picked up a little knock before halftime. He's not injured, but just to be safe. Oyland is on at striker, and Neymar is out to right wing. So uh, the world's best wonder kid gets a chance in the Champions League round of 16. Erickson's taken out there. That's a foul, right? Yeah, ref, I was about to say you're not going to call that. Jeez. Lissandra Martinez over to Marcus Rashford. Rashford. Oyland, where are you at? Gonna go to Neymar. Oh, Neymar can't get that. Bro, Hoyland 6 2. How are we not aiming for Hoyland? All right, Marcus Rashford tries to find Hoyland, but that's gonna go right to Chesney. It's a great pass if Chesney's the target. Hoyland out to Wan Bisaka. Neymar to Wan Bisaka. Hoyland, where are you at? Wan Bisaka into. Wait, that, why didn't Hoyland go for that? That was literally right at Hoyland. Neymar to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno into. Hoyland goes for the shot, but it's going to go right at Chesney. I think it was actually a tackle from uh, one of their players. Di Maria is looking for a chance. There goes to Chiesa. Don't let them score. First leg, I want a clean sheet. Great tackle, Wan Bisaka. Oh, Neymar. Look at this space. Neymar to Bruno. Bruno in two. It's going to be Christian Eriksen, and it's 4-0. Bro, Juventus never stood a chance in this game. They're playing so bad. We are running circles around them. Neymar in to Hoyland. Hoyland, chance to score. Oh, that shot goes deflected right over the net. Oh, Hoyland looks actually a like the next Erling Holland, He is looking that good. Varane should have got that actually. Hoyland. Hoyland on his left foot shot. I thought that was in, bro. He is looking very dangerous right now. All right, we got Ramirez, Sancho, and Mason Mount all coming on. Man, at this point, 4 0. This game is this tie is very close to being over. As I say that, are they gonna score? As I say that. Did I just jinx it? No, I did not. Wait, I might have. I might have actually just jinxed it. No, please no. Oh, Martinez, thank you. Hoyland out to Jaden Sancho. Sancho. The dribbling is pretty good there. Gets it over to someone. Okay, back to Sancho. Sancho to Wan-Bissaka. wan, -Bissaka. wan -Bissaka to Jaden Sancho. He's going to shoot. And Chesney makes the save. Come on, make this 5-0. Make it 5-0. That hits the crossbar. Ramirez tries to head it to a teammate but can't. Okay, Luke Shaw has Hoyland down the middle. Hoyland, a chance for another goal. The world's best wonder kid maybe just scores. And I think that might be the nail in Juventus' coffin. 5-0? These last two games have been so weird. I think it's a combo of us being really good and the other team also being very bad. We might get one more over to 
Miguel Ramirez goes for the finesse shot and our homegrown talent basically oh, almost makes it six he had a chance there could probably pass it too but that is full time five nil I think this is already done I don't think there's any way he has come back in this uh, round of 16 we have just dominated them like this is a statement from this club that we're coming for the big teams all right so third place in the Premier League into the Carabao Cup final and also pretty much already into the Champions League quarterfinals once again this team is on the rise but considering that we have to start looking towards next season already I feel like Neymar he's He's definitely good for now at center forward, but I feel like in the future, we might need a more like traditional striker where Neymar goes out to the right and then we buy a new striker. That could be something we do next season. And also something we might start working on in the next episode a little bit early to see what we can do. But if you want to see more of this series, then drop me a like down below, of course. I'm on screen is a video that you might like. And as always, hope you guys have a great day.